It just feels like they stole something precious from you. Jason and Naomi Pinkston called Fact Finder investigators shortly after taking their four-year-old daughter Ariel to the dentist. They say they knew right away something wasn't right. I feel like they took my advantage of my daughter to make a profit. All you have to do is Google these guys and you get page after page of horror stories. I mean, it felt like a nightmare. That nightmare, as Jason describes it, is a work Small Smiles performed on Ariel. These are before and after pictures. Ariel's baby teeth were showing signs of decay, so Small Smiles ground them down and put crowns on them. But the Pinkstons say their problems began before any work was performed. She didn't explain anything to me about, you know, why it would be important to Ariel to have crowns, you know, whether it would you know, if we didn't do it, what would happen? You know, what our other options could possibly have been, what a crown was, absolutely nothing. We don't know if the work was necessary. It's too late to get a second opinion. Her teeth are gone. We can tell you four of Ariel's front teeth that were crowned by Small Smiles will have to be pulled. We wanted to talk to Small Smiles about Ariel's dental work, but instead were referred to a company in Washington, D.C. Spokesperson Don Meyer tells us the clinic thinks Ariel's treatment plan was appropriate, but the execution was less than ideal. And because of what happened, dentists in the Wichita Clinic will seek continuing education. Uh, what we're finding is that um, some of our dentists may require some extra training on what's called a new smile crown. Although Small Smiles markets exclusively to children, we found none of the dentists here have pediatric qualifications. They are trained only as general dentists. We also had the chance to talk to several pediatric dentists in the Wichita area. All tell us the same thing, that they've received many patients from this clinic. One dentist says he's received more than 200. Patients like Shelby Meisch's daughter, Amaya. She's terrified to see the dentist. Um, still, every time we go, I have to really talk her into it, and she's scared to go in. Like the Pinkstons, Shelby doesn't feel her options were explained, and Small Smiles ended up pulling six of Amaya's teeth. No, they didn't tell me they were going to be pulling all those teeth. I was under the impression they were going to be putting crowns on the back teeth and just pulling the two in front. Another dentist had to perform corrective work. Then there is Stacy Luthi and her daughter Emma, who contacted us after learning we were working on the story. They informed me that they had um, they had a harness that they put the kids in that kind of um, restrains them, but they made it sound like that was like real routine, no big deal. Stacy wasn't allowed to be in the room with her daughter when they went to Small Smiles about two years ago. About, I'm going to say maybe 20, 30 minutes later, they came out. They said she had been throwing up. They brought her to me. She was screaming. She was just in horrified. You know, she was in tears. Like Ariel and Amaya, Emma also had to have corrective work performed. The teeth Small Smiles crowned fell out, leaving her with this smile until her permanent teeth come in. The parents say all three girls now have to be sedated to even visit the dentist. She'll never, ever be unafraid of a dentist in her life again, which alone is is horrible because it's such an important thing to do. It's like um, an auto repair shop. You go in and they try and add a couple things to your bill that, you know, maybe could be done, but it's not crucial. And... You know, they up the bill on you and take advantage of your ignorance. That's why the Pinkstons came to us, to at the very least encourage other parents to ask the questions they didn't.